Daddy, it's Emma here. Hmm? Who's that? Welcome everyone, Kyle here with a special guest today. Emma. Emma is here and Emma's five years old, is that right? Yep, I wasn't four anymore. Yep, she was four and now she's five. That's her usual rap. So, Emma, how's school going so far this year? Good! Boy, she had too much uh, sugar or something. She's through the roof today. Uh, but you enjoy wearing a mask and going to school every day, your first year of all day kindergarten, it's all good? But we gotta take our masses off when we end. Talk and lunch. She gets to take the and mask nap. off. And neck. When she eats a snack, when she goes to lunch, and we get when she goes to recess, she gets to take her mask off. So good for her. Lucky for you, no masks have to be worn in this video. I trust you. I think you're okay. Uh -huh. But today we're going to do an unboxing, a little bonus unboxing. These have been sitting in my collection probably for a year now. Mm -hmm. I would have to think. It's the NECA Toonie Terrors line. We've got Ash and we got Pinhead from Hellraiser, of course. Pinhead. So which one do you like best? A uh, Pinhead. Okay, we'll do Pinhead first. Let's put him here. We'll do Pinhead first. So take a look at Pinhead right there. There he is. If you guys aren't familiar with the Toonie Terrors line, they're available at hobby shops. They're available at your Targets, your Walmarts. Let me show you close up. I, I, they saw it, <laughs> but uh, available at your hobby shops and all that fun stuff. Just, Can we open it? Why don't you wait a second here? We're going to talk about it a little first. Okay, so anyways, uh, these have been available for about a year. Just never got around to unboxing them. Uh, Pinhead is a personal favorite of mine. It's funny, you talk about the 80s uh, horror icons, your Freddies, your Michael Myers, your Jasons, your Emmas, all your horror icons. Your favorite's still Chucky, right? She likes Chucky, she likes Pennywise, but anyways, uh, Pinhead was kind of a sleeper one. As a kid, I always thought Pinhead to be scarier than your typical slasher. I don't know if I just didn't understand it. Uh, I later saw the movies later on in life. Uh, my dad is a personal, you know, your grandpa loves him some Pinhead. And that was my first uh, remembrance of seeing Pinhead, was my dad was a big fan. But we all know Pinhead as from the Hellraiser music video with our boy Lemmy and Motorhead. He wrote the theme song to, I think it was uh, Hellraiser 3. Hi, what? Guys. What? Um, he's his last time. <laughs> Don't work with kids, folks. They're trouble. But this uh, pinhead is a cartoony, uh, the terror, toony terror, jeez, she's got me all flustered. A toony terror figure. Uh, these aren't really marketed for kids, but they kind of got that Scooby-Doo villain look to them. They're pretty cool. We do have the Chucky and Tiffany one. We have the Leatherface. We have the Michael Myers. Uh, we've got a few. We haven't got all of them, but we picked up a few, and Emma likes to play with these herself. So that is usually what happens. Emma ends up playing with these and takes them over. So Emma, let's show this real quick, and then I'll let you unbox it. How about? Okay. So there he is, right there. It comes with the little box thing. Yeah. These do come with the bonus no. backdrop. You can see the backdrop on the back of these, which is cool. If you save those, I'm not going to save that. We don't have room this for it. Too. Okay, Emma, open him up. Okay. Let's oh. see. This, this should be a mess. Come on. Pull her out. Okay, now what do we do with this? That's right. That's what I taught you. Now what do you say, though? See. You gotta say, see you later. See you. Alright, let me help you here. I don't want you to break it. Let me help you. Get that little box out. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's uh, he's locked in here. Time to get the old trusty razor blade out. We can't, we can't let you use a blade. Guys, no kids playing with this. Only grown up. Only grown-ups. Hold on. Get him out here. All right. He see you help. later. Look, he can hold the box. Yep. All right. Well, let's show. You hold the box there. Let's show it off first here. So this is basically just a statue with movable arms. Not too different. Uh, his head moves. Not a whole lot of art articulation. You don't expect a lot of articulation for this. And there you go. There you go. What? This one. Hold on here, you are crazy. 
But there he is, Hellraiser. Very cool figure. It is a statue. Let me see that box. Let me finish this up here, and then we'll get to the next one. You know, you're you're a tough one to review with. Have I ever said that before? So he holds the box just like that. Got all of his weapons molded into him there. But a very cool figure. Awesome for your Halloween display, of course. We have these on display year-round. We've got, like I said, we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We got Leatherface. We got Chucky and Tiffany, and now we got Pinhead to add to the mix. Next what? up, hold on. <laughs> let's show this here. Let's let's be professionals. There's Ash, Evil Dead. Everybody loves Evil Dead. Uh, if you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. There it is. Now, what do you want to say about Ash? What do you think? What do you what can you tell us about this figure? So on the bottom says Ash. That's true. Anything else you want to say about that figure? What do you think about him? He looks creepy. And in the background, on the box, it looks like he was dead on night. I don't know about dead, but uh, it is a good figure. He does come with his boomstick. He's got his patented uh, chainsaw arm. Did you notice his arm is a chainsaw? Yep, and he even has a gun some reason. You know, I think, Emma, maybe tonight, after we're done with this, you and I could watch Evil Dead. Okay. You love scary stuff. and I don't think it'll give you nightmares. Let me get it. All right, let's open him up. Hey, I wanted to open it. I got it. You got the last one. Here, you do. what do you do with that? Uh, see you later. There it is. She finally got it. After all this time, she's got it figured out. Very Scooby-Doo-esque right here. Got a little tore on the jeans down at the bottom. Guys, did you see that pin on his back? Oh, guys, that feeling. We'll get there. This is the most professional review of all time. But you know what? This is just a long game unboxing. Like I said, these have been sitting here for about a year. It's time for me to open these. Emma wanted to join in. For good or for bad, you let me know. Uh, it's trouble. Get this all out. See you later. But no more popping, they fight. No, they don't fight. There it is. Look at that gun. Got the boomstick. I don't even know if this will fit in his hand. Love, love, love. Bruce Campbell. Next Hold on, let me let me look at it, you little crazy kid. His boomstick goes in the back. I just noticed he does have a backpack there, so that yes. is cool. He, I turned his head around. Look at that. He's got the boomstick in the back. He turned his, I turned his head around. Oh my gosh, his head's rotating. He's got a little bit of a turn in his arm here. Uh, they do have pegs on their feet, I believe. They do work with ringside collectible stands. I believe I've worked with them in the past. Oh yeah, fitting like a glove. Fits right there on the stand. There he is. Bruce Campbell. A pretty good likeness. Uh, I don't have a lot of Evil Dead figures. It's one collection I wouldn't mind getting. But you can only collect so many things. You guys know how it is. Um, there's a lot going on here. The war and the battle for the world has begun. We got Ash. We got Pinhead throwing down. We got Emma. Uh, she's kind of ruined the vibe here today. We were going to have a really good unboxing. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So there you go. That is Pinhead. That is Bruce Campbell, Ash. A uh, little Toonie Terror NECA. You guys tell me in the comments. Did you pick these up? Do you like these? Do you have anything to do with them? Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. This one's off the rails. Not the most professional of unboxings. But what do you do when you work with a five-year-old that's all hopped up on sugar? Nothing. I'll see you guys later. Emma, you want to say anything? Any last words? Pew. Pew. I'll see you later.